Hello everybody and welcome to Pathfinder Plays and today we are playing Mist Survival. So, just a little uh, heads up here. I got 100 subscribers, man. How great is that? We've made it to the big leagues. I'm done. I am I am giving my channel up now. I've done I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. However, I am really excited that I got 100 subs as of making this video right now. I have 106 and the journey is just beginning. I am extremely excited I hit that little milestone. My subscription rate went up literally times 2 from an average of 28 subscribers a month to a whopping 46 this last month. So that was legit, and it got me there way faster than I intended. So anyways, enough patting myself on the back and thanking you guys because you get enough thanks and I don't want your head to get too big. We come over here, as you can see, Rachel, still worthless. Scott, still stuck. My bed, I don't know what happened, but it's in the wall. So that, there's that, that's good, right? That's fantastic. Over here, here's the brand new trash bin. You press E, you can just dump whatever you want in there and it gets rid of it, just like that. Let's get rid of this potato. Boom, done, just like that. Come over here, look at this. I got my pots, my grill, and my fire. I have all this tasty meat, which is actually dried. So I will take some. I'm in the process of making some tanning racks. And obviously I have my purifier and water bells over there that I do need to just fill up one day. You guys probably hear some chickens. That's because I got a chicken right here. This is Bobby. And oh my gosh, look at these guys. Uh, this one I named um, uh, Bobby. And then this one I also, uh, Bobby, yeah, right there. And you guys will not believe what I named this one. Bobby. I know, I'm not, I'm not very original. Uh, this one I was thinking about naming something different, but just kidding, its name is Bobby. <laughs> oh, man. But no, so like, uh, I have all these logs over here. I don't know if I'm going to destroy this or not. I can now, because of that new update, but I don't know if I really want to use the health of my axe on something that's not really necessary. Also, leave some comments down below. Do you guys think that I should build a perimeter wall all the way around. I don't know. Should I? Because like if I don't, then I can just like shoot zombies right here and it'll be great. But on the flip side, I could do that from up there and be completely fine. And if I build the walls, then the bandits won't be able to shoot me until they get inside here. But if I don't, obviously they're able to shoot me from out there. So I don't know, man. It's a uh, it's a give and take kind of kind of relationship. Oh yeah, my car. I landed here, and my spark plug died. So that's great. I did hear someone say that now that we are able to destroy static vehicles, whenever you destroy them, look very closely at the ground because they may drop spark plugs. I don't know if that's true, but I also don't know if it, if they do drop spark plugs and car parts like that, if it's restricted to just the spark plugs. Like, if I went and destroyed a static car, how amazing would it be for it to drop a flippin' engine? I mean, it would make sense, right? Come here. Come here! Come, 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 here. come here. You're mine. You're, you're freaking crap. I have things in my hand. I can't, I can't, I, I forgot. You can't catch chickens if you have guns in your hand, obviously. Boom. Got me another Bobby. Got me another Bobby. So if you guys are wondering what we're doing this episode, uh, settle in. We're catching, <laughs> we're catching chickens today, boys. I'm not sure how long it takes for these chickens to hatch eggs or, or lay eggs for me to hatch or, or break open. I don't know. I'm not sure. They've been sitting in mine for about a day now. Probably a bit too soon for me to expect them to lay eggs. But, I don't know. Yo, okay, so like, do chickens reproduce asexually? Like, do they just lay eggs without any help from roosters or whatever? Number one, if so, that that is dope. But number two, 
how are they going to lay eggs if it does require a rooster? Because there's no roosters in this game. I'm asking the important questions here, guys. These are the important life questions that we all need answers to. Right. Another chicken. Bobby. Yep. Have fun. You guys are a bunch of lazy bums. So, like, you want to fight? Get out of here. You know what? Get out. Okay. So, I don't know, like, um... Do they... If they, if they... if they lay eggs, I'm not sure if they were to get up and then there would be an egg there or not. I don't know where the eggs appear. Do they just... are they just strewn about the ground? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. They don't like laying their eggs randomly about in real life. I would assume they would just put it where they... where it's cozy and warm. I really wish I could pick that bucket up. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Let's go get some more chickens. Rachel, stop being a punk. So what do you guys think about the upgrade of Miss Survival? Like, the like once it gets the two point... What is that? Oh, that's just a tractor. Like, once it gets the Miss Survival 2.0. What do you guys think about the... The zombies that are coming into the game? Like, the Berserker and the tank. No photos or anything has been released about that yet. But you can only imagine, by the name of them, what they can do. The tank... You're going to imagine something out off of um, uh, Left 4 Dead, right? That tank zombie. Something huge like that. That's what comes to my mind whenever I think of a tank zombie. As for the Berserker, I don't know, man. Like, it just sounds like a synonym for tank in my eyes. So, maybe the tank is huge and can take tons of damage and is slower and really, really powerful. Um... And maybe the Berserker is still bigger, I would say, than the regular Infected, which are called Runners, by the way. I found that out while executing one. And, yeah, they're a little bit bigger than the than the Runners, but smaller than the Tanks, but they're quicker than both. Right? Like a really jacked Infected guy. It'll be really interesting to see how they actually make these guys, because so far, everything in the game has been pretty realistic. Like... The infected aren't terribly deformed, they're just humans with discolored skin and they're, you know, they, it looks like something off of I Am Legend, except with the movie I Am Legend, you could tell a physical difference with their elongated heads. These guys don't even have elongated heads, they're just literally the human meshes of the game, zombified. So I don't know how they're going to do the tank, or how he, it's only a one-man operation, how he is going to do the tank and the berserker. If it's just going to be completely different zombie types, or if it's going to be, like, still humans, but with special attributes. I don't know. It'll be really, really, really cool to find out, though. Alright, look at all these chickens. Ladies, what's up? There you go. You stuck? You look stuck. There you go. Actually, I need to get out. I need to get out. I'm sorry. There you go. How many more do I need? How many slots are there? Get out of my way, Bobby! One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. What? I thought I had more chickens than that. How many chickens do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven chickens. I thought I had more than that. One, two, three, four. How many slots are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Doing math. Twelve minus seven. Five. <laughs> What's wrong with my brain? I don't know if I can have more than this, though. I thought I had m Like, did somebody eat my chickens? I don't know. Let's go get another one. I'm freaking out now. Oh, yeah, another mechanic that they added to the game is you can destroy uh, weapons that you're no longer using. However, I don't know how. I am unaware how. I'm assuming it has something to do with... Maybe, okay, maybe you can uh, lay it on the ground and just hit it with an axe, actually. Let's try that. That does not work. We can do forge. Nothing. Um, what about you? No. Uh, what about you? you? Uh, no. I don't know. I don't know what to do. How do you break down a weapon? <laughs> Time to ask the internet. Once again, guys, Pathfinder here, asking the most important questions, the life questions that, that we all need. How to destroy 
weapon missed survival. Unloading weapons missed starting guide. Bandits are OP. Stop being such a baby. Bandits are not overpowered. How about you just get good and aim for the head? Am I right? All right, so there's nothing on there. Let's go Miss Survival Patch Notes. Let's try Let's try that. Missed, sir, must, must. Missed Survival Patch Notes. Then we'll go down here. Uh, what the, what the hell? What happened? Right, okay, right here. Let's see here. Added new item, trash bin, made that. All right, bar purifier mechanics change. I have not looked at that yet. We need to look at that. Harvest gun for metal scrap and component box. All right. How? How? Tell me how. It doesn't tell me anything. Gosh, dang it. Oh, hey, right there. Look at this. Breakable static car have a chance to drop spark plug and car battery. That's so dope. Uh, generator time spend, label fix, generator drain fuel slower, 15 liters per five days? That's insane. Empty glass bottle can put in quick slot. Why you'd want that? Can you use it as a distraction, maybe? That'd be epic if you could, like, throw it. I don't think you could throw anything in this game. All right, so I'm not sure how you destroy or, or harvest, so to speak, weapons. Is there maybe another option that may not? We can drop it. Can look at it and just pick it up. Man, I am so confused right now. If somebody out there on the internet knows what to do with these weapons when harvesting, please let me know because I have so many that I'm not using at all, and it's frustrating. The potato, you know, I really wish that we could use this as storage. Like, come on, man, we got freaking. Look at all this stuff right here. I didn't even know that. I, I keep forgetting this is here. Salt. Look at this. You can't even destroy it. You can't use it. It's just there. I'm filing a petition. Everybody sign it. Make mini RV campers storage places for items. I think the mist is coming in. The mist is coming in. I need to save one more chicken, guys. Okay? I don't got time. I gotta save a chicken's life. Saving private chicken. I know it's risky because the zombies had their sight increased from 20 meters to 35 meters. But gosh darn it, man, if I don't save one more chicken before the zombies get to it, there's one. I'm going to feel terrible. This is, this is what we're here for. This is the most important thing in this game. All right, chicken, come here. Come here, chicken. Got poop from the gun away. I'm trying to save your life. There's zombies out here now. Come here, I have your family. Oh, geez, that sounds way more creepy. That that wouldn't encourage me at all. Come here, come, all right. All right, it's getting pretty, wow. The mist is rather dense now. This is terrifying. We've, we've got to get back. I could die so easily right now. If, I, if we get into a fight, Bobby, and I put you down to save your life again and mine, I swear on my mother's yet to be made grave, because she's alive. I will find another chicken to save. All right? Because apparently you don't appreciate my kindness and my sacrifices. Look at how thick that is. Has it always been that thick? That's crazy, man. Oh, there they are. They, <coughs> they spawned. Nope. Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yep, they got through there. That's no bueno. Dear Lord. I, I was about to be like, <laughs> they can't get in there. How come I wasn't able to get it in there whenever I built it? I can't get in there. Look at this. Look. That's, that's, that's cheap. Come on. How come they were able to get through, but I'm not? Can I just, uh... Oh wait, I got an idea. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hold on. That was uh, absolutely terrifying. Well, I was going to say that'll close them off, but they might just be able to <laughs> come through there. Dang it, man, I can't win. Come here, come here, Bobby. Time to, time to bring you home. Here we go. I know you're terrified. 
But look at this. Look at all these roosting ladies over here. Another question. How come I have female birds and I name them Bobby? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. All right. All right. Hey, stop being weird. Get in your own hole. Or you can just hover. There you go. Get out of here. Huh. Let's go up here. See what we can see. I haven't been up on top of the finished wall with the uh, mist event yet. So I could attack that static car, see if I can't find spark plugs for my car because I, I need it desperately. <laughs> I really, really do. Killed three zombies, one shot each. Not too bad. I'm, I'm a pro. So they're adding a fishing mechanic to the next, and it will come 2.0. They're adding a fishing mechanic in patch 2.0. So I don't know if they're going to build like a dock or create or allow us to build a dock out into the center of it. That would be really fun. I wonder what variety of fish they're going to have as well, like 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 bass or salmon. I don't know. You know what else would be cool? Like I'm able to obviously jump right here. How cool would it be if we were to able to either break windows or open the windows up? Could you imagine being a ninja and just bypassing all of them downstairs right here? And just saying, sorry guys, I'm too good for you. I don't got time to mess around. And after those three zombies though, I'm not seeing very many. And I'm not sure what's up with these guys in here because it's, it's the mist event. There they go. There they go. Mm-hmm. Can I get on you? I can. Love it. Why is there a rag up on the roof? Like, look at this, dude. Look at this. How <laughs> how awesome is this? This place, this place is, my domain. is my domain. No creature has dominion over it. Only I do. Where'd they go? There's two. There was two over here. I don't know where they went. They must have booked it. Yeah, I wish they... I, I, well, I'm not, I don't wish. Uh, because that would imply that he's not going to. But I hope that... In future patches, whenever he gets more money from the game purchases and he gets more uh, experience from what he's doing, he upgrades the survival mechanic, uh, as in the followers and the survivors that you find. You can have a greater variety of their looks. They can do more. They can sustain themselves. Like you don't need to give them food and water. They can grab food and water, and it, and the food and water digestibility is actually pretty reasonable. So like if they grab like a beef can and a bottle of water, the bottle of water will and the beef can can last them for like two days at least or something, you know. Hey there. Other one's coming, I think. They at least heard it. But yeah, that would be awesome. I did find the other survivor. I know some of you guys are probably like, oh, he only has two survivors, I know there's three. Well, I went to go find the third one at the third bandit camp, and number one, it was Scott again, so I don't know what he's doing, lambasting me. Uh, and number two, whenever I clicked rescue, he disappeared and he never showed up. <laughs> he never showed up, so I, he just got lost on the way here, I guess. I don't know. This is a very long mist event, by the way. Oh, hello. Why do they keep going there? They're dropping mad potatoes, though. Look at that. You got two potatoes. All right, so we increased their eyesight, but I just shot my gun right there, and he's just walking away like nothing even happened. So what about their, uh, what about their hearing, man? Got to increase all those senses, I would say, because they should have come running. So like I was playing scum the other day, right? I'm I'm getting pr I'm getting pretty good at it, man. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I I raided the military base, the the flight line, the airstrip, whatever you guys want to call it, because that's where all the good loot is, right? Or not all of it, but that's where a lot of the good loot is, uh, in this version of the game. And man, I got kitted. But it was such a cinematic moment, right? I, I I break in, and there's these walking robots patrolling the perimeter, and I wait, and I I memorize their their patrol patterns, and whenever they both turn their back, 
I just sprint, right? Zombies start chasing me because they're scattered all over the airfield. And I get inside the main base camp into like a little hut thing like similar to this where they store things. And I close the door. One zombie gets in with me. I pop him in the head with a handgun. That sound, however, attracts other zombies. So what do I do? Well, they can't get in because I closed the door. So I spend my time harvesting all that material, right? Right, right? You with me? And then, so I get decked out. Got a shotgun. I got backpack, gear, uh, sappy plates, all that good trash. And then I open the door, guns blazing like... Just mow them down with my AK-47. I'm sprinting across. I'm sprinting across the airline where I came from. There's a zombie in front of me. And I shoot him in the face. And whenever I turn around to see if anyone's following me, no one's following me, but the zombies are running to the sound to, to the location of the sound. Gosh dang man. It was like a flipping scene from the movie Daisy. Ugh, it was so epic. It was so good. Yeah! Oh, okay, so uh, did he hear or just see? Oh. Okay. Interesting tactic, my good sir. I wish the bodies was, would stay a bit longer, too, you know? Honestly, uh, just in case you guys haven't noticed, there I guess there really isn't a point... <laughs> to this episode. I just decided to do some miscellaneous stuff and, and talk with you guys a bit. Like, I collected chickens. I showed you guys some of the new stuff they put in the game. Uh, but besides that, you guys can obviously tell I haven't been doing <laughs> too much of anything. I've just been, uh, just been talking to y'all. So I hope that's okay. Oh, baby. Let's see how long, uh, what this dry meat does. Dehydrates me a bit, does not fill me up nearly as much as the cooked meat, but it also doesn't dehydrate me nearly as much as the cooked meat. Why am I bleeding? Do I have food poisoning again or something? Nothing's showing up. Nothing's showing up on the on the right hand side. Okay, I guess I'm not dying anymore. Very well. Uh, let's destroy this static car and see if we can't get a, a spark plug, man. How cool would that be? So it's going to take. Just a little bit of time, guys, so don't worry. I'll skip to the end for you. All right. We got a freaking battery. You know what? That's not what I wanted, but it's cool that it has a fairly consistent drop rate, I suppose. But look at all this stuff, too, dude. Oh, my gosh. Get out of here. Let's go over there and get that one. That's dope. I think Bing says so many things can only be destroyed with the axe. He should increase the durability of the axe because it, it, it gets kind of... Hello, bear. How much salt do I have? Do I have enough salt to salt his beautiful meat? I have 18. Yes, I flippin' do. Hey. Yeah, you bet you got, I, bet, I bet you guys thought I was done for right there, huh? Nope, I, I paused for dramatic effect. It was all it was all part of the plan. Don't don't worry about it. But sure, oh jeez, if I don't have like any flipping room. Crap! I get too rambunctious. I don't need you. I don't need you. I need you, I need you. Bark, I can always get you and you later. Whatever. Forget you. Salt. Uh keep the meat. I love me some meat. That beef can is pretty high dosage. Potatoes, potatoes. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, give me one hide, please. And give me that mad meat. And four hours later, I will have the good stuff. So I will get you guys whenever that's done. All right, guys. We got the skin. We got the meats. Oh, baby. Baby. All right, let's harvest this car, then head back, because I am dehydrated. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, let's harvest the car, then uh, get back. Let's fill my bucket. There we go. Now then, we're just doing some base management, right? We're just surviving. This is what... You know what? I take it back. We have been doing something in this game. This, right now, in this version of the game, this is what end game looks like. You get in the game, and you live the life a survivor would live. 
Sure, you don't need to go scavenge for things to try to survive, or try to, like, explore random places is what I mean by survive, but what do you do if you were surviving and you finished building this huge fortress? You would maintain it. You would build that recycling bin. You would go gather those chickens for a more sustainable food source. You would go kill bears and get meat, you know, to prepare for winter, which is apparently still in a few months. Uh, which I'm on day 31, so tomorrow should be a couple months, if we're being accurate. But you know, that like, you guys see what I'm saying? Like, after all the action is done, this is it. You survive. And once fishing comes around, get out of here. Alright? Seriously. Alright, so we're gonna harvest this bad boy. I'll get you guys when I'm done with this. Maybe we can get a spark plug out of it. Alright. No, we got another- Hey. Ugh! No! <laughs> Can I get you? I can't go under the water. Dang it, man. Dang it. All right, we got some scraps, components. We got another battery, which honestly is completely fine with me. Oh, uh, I don't want wood scrap. All right, how much stuff do we have now, like wood scrap? Yo, that stuff adds up, doesn't it? All right, let's get back. Uh, I think I have firewood still. But if I come across a stump or something that I've already chopped down, maybe I'll collect some more firewood just in case. Actually, no, I don't need to. Because over here, uh, on the opposing side, I, I have some logs that I can turn into uh, firewood with my own tree stump that I have in my base. So I'll do that real quick, and I'll cook some meat. Uh, and then we'll call it a day, man. This was uh, day number 31 in surviving. Maybe this will be like a new thing, right? How, what do you guys think about this? Maybe I'll just go in the game, I'll just maintain my base and, and survive, gather food, harass some zombies kind of thing, and just talk to you guys about random stuff. Yeah, what, what do you guys think uh, Think about that? Let me know. Because obviously, yeah, it's, it's, it's good for consistent content, but at, at the same time, if I'm talking about legit things, whether it be the game or life or whatever, then I would say it's not a waste of time to watch, you know? Hey, I got charcoal, what the heck do I, I mean, what? I, I'll keep it there, I suppose. Do I use it as an accelerant? Do I use it as tinder? Do I... I want... Actually, you know, I wonder if I can use it for water filtration. I wonder. Put you guys on the meat stand. Because in real life, if you want to purify water, or at least get a bunch of the grime and bacteria out of it, you, you filter it through, like, sand and charcoal and things like that in, in various layers. 60% chance. Got it. Alright, so that- You guys, look at- look at this! Come on, how cool! How cinematic! How... Picturesque! Rachel! Freaking worthless woman. Alright. Look at those big old whomping chunks of protein right there. So I left it on there a bit too long last time, and they got burnt. So I'm gonna watch this thing like a flippin' hawk, and see... If I can catch it before it gets burnt. Give you all 10 liters. Right. Oh, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead. I need matches, more firewood, and bark. Crap, I don't think I have any here too, do I? I have the firewood. I need to, I need to, you know what I need to do? Wait, are these done? Are these... Really? It's burnt already? I, it was on there for like a minute. Dang it! Crap. Uh, okay, let's put more on. The fire's still going. I love the grill sound that it makes when you put it on there, though. Oh, that's so cool. All right, we're watching. We're watching. I'm not turning away now. I was gone for literally like 30 seconds, and it burnt. Come on. Come on. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. You're still raw, huh? Come on. I know you want to be cooked. I know you want to be cooked. I know you want to be cooked. Yep. Well done. Yes. Yes. It is a... It, it's a fine line, guys, between being just an average cook and being the best cook. You know, most people burn their meat. Not me. Mine's well done. Mine's well done. <laughs> Why am I getting cocky about this? Can we split in... Split half? Alright. 
<laughs> I throw the matches into the fire. I don't need you. Matches. And I'll just... Yeah, okay, so I have matches right there. Firewood. And I need bark. But that's that's fine. I don't need it yet. Can I actually... How much can I fill this thing up? I think it's just... 10? I don't know. But anyways, guys. This is actually... Hold on. We're going to test something real quick. Um... So my hunger right there, my thirst right there. I want to see if this well-done meat dehydrates me nearly as much as the burnt. It does not. Not nearly as much. Which makes sense because well-done meat is still fairly moist. That's right. I said the word moist. Be mature. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Well, this is it. I survived the day. Gathered some food and resources. Rachel, you're still worthless. And remember, guys, if you like scares, survival, and scavenging, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, and I will see you in the next one. Pathfinder out.